Welcome to Your 7th Sense, a show for mission-driven entrepreneurs to evolve into unstoppable intuitive leaders. Listen to Terry and her guests as they share stories of being powered by angels and intuition to achieve their success. Now, let's unlock the power in you with your host, Terry Wildeman. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Your 7th Sense. I'm your host, Terry Wildeman, and today it's going to be an incredibly dynamic show because our guest is someone who, quite frankly, is probably the one human on this planet whose career so closely resembles mine, and we'll be talking a little bit about that. Now, I'd like to tell you a little bit about, about what's happening. Some new stuff is very, very exciting. If you haven't joined my newsletter, please go to intuitiveleadership.com and click on the button to join the newsletter because I'm going to be sharing some wonderful stuff that is coming up in the future. And one of them is the Intuitive Leadership Business Wisdom School, where we're going to be sharing some fantastic courses to assist you in business and in life to get with courses that are going to guide you into peak performance for yourself and for your employees. So that's gonna be coming round the bend. So stay tuned for that. Now that I've shared that with you because I've been so itching to share that with you, I'm excited to have the phenomenal, the dynamic Lisa Marie Platsky here in the room. This woman is, as I said, the one woman on the face of this planet who most uh, resembles my career path. It's just, and every time we talk, we find something else that we both have done together. It is bizarre, absolutely bizarre. So before we get into the conversation, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Lisa Marie. And yes, I do have to put the glasses on today. All right, don't normally put them on, but today the eyeballs need it. Okay, Lisa Marie Platsky left her action-packed life as a federal law enforcement officer after 9-11 to become the CEO of international leadership development company, Upside Thinking Inc., an award-winning leadership expert recognized by the Small Business Administration, author of six books, and certified master coach. Lisa Marie delivers high energy presentations using her seventh step leadership process centered on connection, positioning, and executive presence. Her clients include the Department of Homeland Security, Honeywell, the Girl Scouts, the Federal Regulatory Commission, Pacific Gas and Electric, uh, Pacific Gas and Electric, uh -huh, and Perry Ellis International. She serves on the board of several philanthropic organizations, including Project Forgive, and was recognized by the International Alliance of, of Women as one of the top 100 women making a difference in the world. Connected to God, Lisa Marie listens and lets him lead. The founder of Design Your Destiny Live, she lives in Alexandria, Virginia with her loving and supportive husband, Jim, and their two pet boxes? Boxes. Boxes? <laughs> really? <laughs> How did I miss that before? Yeah. <laughs> boxes. Okay. Boxes. Okay. Tell me more about the boxes. Oh, uh, well, the foxes are just regular, they're regular foxes. They live in the neighborhood. They come to visit and have, will come up to our front door. And it's as if we got them from an annual animal sanctuary and put them in our neighborhood. But they're wow. just, they're just uh, attached to our house. Uh, friends have said that it's the energy that my husband and I put out, perhaps. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure what the symbolism is, but there are two, and they like us. <laughs> and you, you have such a brilliant house. I've been in your home and the neighborhood. It is just absolutely fantastic. Thank you. It really, really is. So I'm sure those foxes are pretty happy in that neighborhood. There's no <laughs> doubt in my mind. Lisa Marie, thank you so much for being here on the show. We, um, having you here is a real honor and a privilege. And yes, let's share a little bit about... We keep saying, I have said now a couple of times, how our career paths have been so similar. We both have had a law enforcement career. We both have been image consultants. We both have uh, been in uh, six books, all right? Uh, we both teach leadership. 
Any more? Did I miss anything? Oh my heavens, we, we both have a connection to Miami. That's right, um, that's right. You know, we, we both have had uh, loving husbands who have had career paths very focused and driven on what very they're doing. Our career paths. Yes, yes. And uh, the, the deep love for parents and transitioning and helping them as we both have parents that we've stepped in and, and uh, helped both in their trans their life transitions there's been that piece we both believe in the connection to uh, making sure that you're as connected to your body mm -hmm. and not solely operating in the in the mind and so there's there's been that and so that you actually are are in your emotions and paying attention to mm -hmm. in because not a, even though we both are connected to leadership not everyone believes in intuitive leadership right That's exactly there's, right so, so there's that piece. I mean, there's just so like it's just family-wise, business-wise, there it, there's so many similarities. It's unreal. Yeah, there there really are, and it, it is mind-blowing to me that every time we talk, there's something <laughs> <laughs> something else, <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. So it's a lot of fun when you meet something like that. And I'm dark-haired, you're blonde. So you know what, yin yang, we got it. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly so, right. The topic is about intuition. And one of the things about intuition, we had a lovely, lovely conversation. We've had several conversations around the power of intuition. And, and you know, not everybody is, says that intuition comes from the divine. You and I happen to come from that perspective, that our intuition comes from the divine. Um, and I know for, for myself, in, in our interactions together, there's always something that's going on in the moment with us. <laughs> intuition plays a big role and like right now you're in san diego right and there's all kinds of chaos that happened this morning which i can't blame you since we're three hours apart yeah <laughs> and we yeah. were talking about how some oftentimes when the chaos occurs if we think about a iceberg the chaos actually is from here to here, the top third, what we see in the iceberg. Yes, that's right. Living in our heads. Whereas what's underneath the surface, our bodies, look at how big and long and wide it is in an iceberg. All this information is from the neck down. And I know that you just got back from a phenomenal certification in Costa Rica after th for three weeks, where intuition played a big role in that. So can you share with us how intuition got you to Costa Rica and has helped you integrate the iceberg, not only for yourself, but for other people, because that was huge learning for you. Yeah, that's, and so, and so just, of course, divine right timing that I'm here with you right after Costa Rica, because we, we, looked for the right day and this was the right day and it's just i'm always amazed how things work out that way just the the understanding that this is this is the right moment and going to costa rica was not a trip that i went going yes costa rica is calling i can't wait to go costa rica was a trip where i i have a business that involves leadership, yes, and training, yes, and coaching, and all of those pieces that feel very tactical, right, in, in, the, in the mind. And I signed up for a, a training after meeting a woman who was the protege of a, a gentleman who created, who started the college in Australia for psychosomatic practitioner training. And that's the, the melding of, of the body and, and the mind and really understanding that, the, that the, our issues are in our tissues and the body tells a story. And no matter how much we want our mind to believe a different story, the body actually manifests and creates a story based on our life experiences. And so when I signed up it, for the original training, the first training, it was a... Um, I thought it was just going to be a fun outing with a girlfriend. And I really was called at the end of the three days to sign up for this longer training where 
I didn't even realize that it was going to be 110 hours in 10 days plus an additional practicum days plus and plus and plus and plus and I went because I heard I had the inner understanding my my voice you know and and as you mentioned I believe for me it's the Holy Spirit that often calls me that this was the thing for me to do and I didn't understand it and even when I was getting ready to go on the plane and having to have studied ahead of time, I was going like, what? This is the, the, not an opportune time. I, I, I have an annual conference in January, Design Your Destiny Live. I had onboarded some new clients. You know, this is the time for me to be with clients. This is the time for me to start new projects. And I'm heading off to Costa Rica to get a psychosomatic therapist practitioner take a cert certification course like this there's no part of this that intellectually makes sense and yet when i was there i got confirmation over and over and over again that this was my next steps and when you ask you know the intuition how it plays into it for me it's just such a big listening to say the holy spirit leaves me breadcrumbs it leaves me little little breadcrumbs that says, you know, this is the next place. I don't get the whole picture. Yeah. I'm sometimes not really happy about the message I get. And at the same and time, right there, that piece yeah. you just said, sometimes we're not happy about those messages. Yeah. And it's like, really? You have got to be kidding me. Well, and sometimes for me, it's pick someone else. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I have to honestly say, I've not said that. I just go to this, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just, it's, it's not, this is, this can't possibly be mine to do. And when I listen, it works out well. When I ignore it and do the, this is someone else's to do, it generally circles back to me, Terry. <laughs> yeah, because there's a lesson there that you need to learn, and you are the chosen one. Isn't that a wonderful thing? <laughs> it's just crazy. So, I would love for you to share the story about the pendant. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so I, I receive this. I'm actually going to back up prior to receiving the pendant, Terry. So, I once again, in the listening process, which is what I believe intuition so much is it's really the, when you get that download, it's also the, the listening. Okay, so this is, this is the next step. So I had been exploring for myself healing in a variety of modalities. That's another thing that you and I have in common is the willingness to go deep versus surface and see what needs to be healed and what the next and so I have found that family constellations are an exquisite tool, an exquisite tool for me to heal myself, heal past generations. And I, I happen to just be a raving fan of the, the work of, of Gary Stewart, who I think is, is masterful at this. So Gary is doing this constellation for me. And the constellation with past and future. So a little bit of a different family constellation if you're familiar with them. If not, it's not that, it's not that deep. The, the past and the future in stepping into them, he sees the exact same thing. And that's not typical. You that's typically not. see something very different in the past than you would see in the future. Right. And he sees a white dove with this background of just a blue sky and the dove has a leaf in, you know, a, a, a twig in his, in his mouth and is just, he's moved to tears. Mm -hmm. So fast forward several weeks later, I receive a package in the mail from you. And Terry, I open the package and I'm going, did the two of them have a conversation? Did I, what, what is this? And I, I get a message from Terry that says, I was given the message to, to send this to you. 
And what it is, and I have it on because I've been wearing it, it's a dove and it has a similar background to what Gary saw. And then when I show up in Costa Rica and I have this, the woman whose land it is says, you're here to bless the land. And I'm thinking, I'm a kid who grew up and was more likely to be a statistic than a success. I grew up in, like, we weren't dirt poor, but we just, we didn't have a lot of means. You know, my dad left when I was six and we were, you know, never paid child support. And my mom was doing her best to raise us and make ends meet. I came to bless the land. Are you, are you kidding me? Like, I'm the person who every day tries to figure out, like, how I'm going to put all the pieces together with the, the work and, and, and do what I'm called to do it in a way that's with high integrity and love and, um, and whatever challenges come in. And so I'm, she's looking at this, this beautiful pendant that you sent me, Terry. And, um, and then she says, yes, she said, you know, you represent... I've been told, you know, and she's been told, who told her that you, that you are the, you know, that you're um, the white dove of peace. And it's just this surreal experience because, as I said, there have been, a, there, my background would tell you that this couldn't be possible. Like this, this, this couldn't be possible. And that's where that part that you're talking about there, it can't be possible. That's where we need to step out of ourselves. Is it not? Yeah. Yeah. So to add to the story, the artist who creates those pendants, I got an email and she was having a sale and it was one of those, I, I know, I, I don't always go into the emails. I, I, I have a couple myself. One of them is, is, uh, is a, a unicorn pendant from her. And I, and I love the quality of her work. And, but something made me go in and your face was front and center. And I went in and there was that dove. And I knew I had to send it to you. I just knew I got this message. Unlock the power in you and elevate oh, your seven cents with our intuitive start. leadership training okay. programs, masterminds, VIP days, and retreats. To learn more, visit intuitiveleadership.com. Even when it sounds crazy. Even when it sounds crazy. So all I know is you were meant to have that pendant. Did I know why? Absolutely not. I didn't care about a bing, but a boom sent. So here you are listening to your intuitive, to the intuitive proddings. And none of them are making sense. And that's the key. That's something I really want to say. Because even when you're in the boardroom and or when you're working on a team and you keep getting these messages in your body that don't make sense and you listen to them and you have the courage to open your mouth and state that I know this doesn't make sense, but blah, 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 blah. Chances are that other people in that room are getting similar tune-ins or similar proddings. And you're the courageous one who's opening your mouth to guide the tribe to where it needs to go. So yeah. when yeah. you listen, magic happens. It's about us getting out of our own fear. Is that do, do you agree with that, Lisa Marie? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You, you, you say it so eloquently that, especially the example of being in a meeting and you're thinking you're the crazy one because it's, <laughs> you're getting a message, right? And you're going, there's no, there's like, why would this be coming in my head? Mm -hmm. And, and yet, and I, and, and it, it happens with all sorts of stuff. It happens when I, uh, for you know to me when I'm like even packing for a trip and I hear the voice like you should take this and I'm like there's well, I don't need that and then I get there and if I don't take it I needed it right and, yeah, and, and, and why it shows up but in the boardroom you're dealing with other people when I'm dealing with myself for a trip or something it's just me but when you're in the in with other people and you get the message that doesn't make sense that courage is is a it's a very um it's, it's, it's very, 
powerful leap of faith to trust your inner voice that it's leading you and the organization to a place that's better even if you don't understand it because the how is never your business that the how is so right the how is never your business and you know i i just got an image of a story that i that i feel i have to share um please my husband totaled (laughs) Total dark car, and I've shared the story in, in season one, but it needs to be repeated here uh, with what we're talking about. This belief, he told my car. It, it was a uh, it was a beautiful minivan that took care of my family. I absolutely loved it. Blah 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 blah. And he go, um, I'm coming out of BJ's. The car got stuck in 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 uh, first gear. I called up my husband and said, "Guess what? The transmission just went on the car. I was able to get it home." He's on his way to get the transmission fixed because we figured out that it was cheaper to do that than buy a new car because we had a kid at a very, very expensive yeah. city. You know, yeah. Well. yeah. And, and uh, 10 minutes later, I get a phone call. Uh, honey, we don't need a new transmission. We need a whole new car. Can you come to the top of the hill, please? Make a long story short, I walk up to the top of the hill and the whole front end of our car was gone. He, he had, um, I, and, and, he was fine, but somebody had hit him pulling out. And um, all I can say is that it was a miracle he's alive, number one, because if he had gotten yeah. pulled out. And so that meant I had to go car hunting. So that weekend I'm car hunting on Monday. He And we figured out what we wanted and, and whether it you know it was still a minivan, whether it was a Toyota or Honda, whatever it was. And on Monday, so that was on a Thursday, on Monday, I dropped him off at the airport. And the last words to him was, I want a gray minivan with a sunroof. That's what I want. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I want a gray minivan with a sunroof. So I drop him off. He's going to San Diego, where you are. No, Monterey, where you are, uh, you know, on the West Coast. So as I'm driving back home, I keep getting this image of this specific car dealership. And I keep saying, no, I'm not going to go there. That, that's all high-end cars. I, I'm just not going to go. And it wasn't logical, just like what you're talking right. about. It didn't make any sense. It was absolutely, so I'm talking to myself in the car. There was, If there had been a candy camera, people would have thought I was absolutely nuts because I'm having this conversation with, no guys, this is crazy. I'm like, okay, fine. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You're driving me crazy. I'm going to go. <laughs> and I go and I pull in and there's Porsche, Lexus, uh, BMW, all these high-end cars. <laughs> I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So I drive around the parking lot and I go around the back end and there is parked on the side against the garages was a gray Honda minivan. And I'm looking at this thing going, oh, really? Okay. I went around the front. I went in to talk to the guy and I said, I want to look at that van. And he looked at me and said, I have no idea what you're talking about. And he walked outside uh, okay. Yeah, there is a gray minivan. He, and, and basically the way he was talking to me, he was really talking down to me. And he said, are you sure you don't want to buy a Lexus? No, I don't want to buy a Lexus. I want to buy, you know, I'm looking for a minivan. And sure enough, the car had been traded in the night before. I had opened up the door and there was a kid's uh, piece of artwork in the back uh, out of a coloring book. So I realized it hadn't, hadn't even been cleaned up. I said, I'm very interested in the van. And I already knew what the pricing was. I already knew, you know, everything, you know, pretty much. He brings it around the front, had no clue about how the thing worked. Okay. Because he's a Lexus guy. Right. Yeah. So (laughs) I go driving in it. I sit in the car. Oh my God. It had leather seats. It had, you know, bells and whistles. And I looked up. And there's a sunroof. (laughs) And it was gray. And uh, as we walked out, I said, I just stuck my, I just put my husband on an airplane. And he handed me his business card. He said, if you buy this car right now, this is what you can buy it for. And I'm looking at this business card going, they have no clue what they have. They have no clue what they have. And I said, I'm sorry, I still can't buy it right here. I have to wait till my husband at least lands. And make a long story short, um, the guy said to me, well, it may not be here when he gets back on Friday. I said, well, if it's not, it's not. You know, it wasn't meant to be mine. It was there on Friday. My husband left the airport, went right up to the uh, dealership, took a look at it, drove it around, and it was ours. And on Saturday, they called up and said, 
uh, would you be willing to pay $500 more because the quote that we gave you was cost? Boom. If I had not listened to the insanity that didn't make sense, we would not have what I call my goddessy. Yeah. At yeah. the price that was like, uh, quoted $10,000 below blue book value. Great. So Great. It, it was insane. It was absolutely insane. But I listened. And, and that's, I think, the trick that we need. And it's not even a trick. It, um, what's a better way? That's the faith, the trust that we have to have in our intuition. When we trust what comes to us, that's when the magic happens. Yeah. And sometimes when things don't work out the way we want it to, do you believe, Lisa Marie, it's because it's meant to work out that way because there are lessons in there we were meant yes. to get? Oh, oh yes. I, you know, yes. And uh, I, Terry, I got clear guidance yes, last year that I was supposed to do something, that there was an investment I was supposed to make. And I got the clear guidance and then I went and pendulum tested it and went in and I'm like, this is, this is what I'm supposed to do. And the deal was not only did it fall through, it cost me countless sleepless nights and a loss of tens of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. And I'm still clear that the guidance that I got was for me to do that. And while I don't understand it, what it led me to was deep, deep, deep inner exploration mm. of who I am as a person. Mm. Nice. And I realized that for my annual event, my annual Design Your Destiny Live, which is a whole other thing that I had a conversation with and got guidance on, and in, um, that... I had worked on changing the curriculum, but I wasn't changed. Oh. And so you, you can create something that's new on an exterior level if you yourself are not made anew again and again. It's like putting old wine into new wine skins it doesn't it doesn't taste so good it doesn't it doesn't it, it doesn't provide the same level of nourishment and, and there's also a lack of authenticity and integrity there yes yes and so and so while for me what i realized in my having that experience it was also for my greatest good so that I could take that very difficult journey, the journey that I have the ex expectation that my clients are going to be on, right? Transformation. And yet for me, there was a working in the intellect, changing the curriculum, doing the content work, and not necessarily the embodiment of all of that transformation. And so that very difficult business experience, which is one that I was given to do. And, and I am clear that that was mine to say yes to and, and didn't work out, ended up having a tremendous healing and transformation for me as a person and as a leader to allow it to be where stepping on stage at events moving forward six months later, I can't tell you the number of people who say, you are so different. Your work is so different. Wow. My work isn't that different. I. You're different. <laughs> right. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. What a so you're right place to end this show today because we could be talking about this forever. <laughs> uh, and I would love to invite you back in you know, one of our future seasons because, we, you know, this is just... Uh, so juicy and just so just wonderful. Uh, Lisa Marie, I want to thank you so much for being here today. This has been fantastic dialogue, fantastic education and learning for our, uh, for our, both our tribes, actually. And I would love uh, for you to share with folks, how can they get in touch with you? 
Well, my website is upsidethinking.com, U-P-S-I-D-E, and then the word thinking, T-H-I-N-K-I-N-G.com, and upsidethinking.com. There's a place that you can actually contact me. I welcome it. I'm on Facebook. I'm on LinkedIn. I I just, I welcome deeper conversations and dialogue. I love connection. That's another thing that you and I have in common is we like people. <laughs> we do like people. Go figure. Yeah, we're, we're, we like people and we also like bringing out the best in people. Yes, yes. We really yes. like bringing out the best in people. I know yes. that that's something that I'm uh, passionate about. Yes. So again, Lisa Marie, thank you so very much for being our guest today. Uh, your stories and dialogue is just absolutely fantastic. And I do hope that you come back again. Ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen, I'm your host, Terry Wilderman, and I thank you for being here today. Visit with us on Wednesdays for future episodes of Your Seventh Sense. Thanks again, and we will see you next time. Unlock the power in you and elevate your seven cents with our intuitive leadership training programs, masterminds, VIP days, and retreats. To learn more, visit intuitiveleadership.com.